If you are searching your first job in data science and in the introduction you say that I am a fresher, by end of this video you are going to have 5 alternative introduction for yourself. No need to say you are a fresher but in 5 different ways you can present your profile in a different way. I am going to talk about all these one by one. Please ensure guys you watch this till end. It is going to be very very useful for all of you. Okay, So, one thing that you cannot do as a fresher is you know uploading your profile in a job portal and then waiting somebody will call you. Don't do that because you are a fresher you have to take some alternative approach and that is what I am going to tell you what are those approaches. Remember don't wait for job portals to call you that is of course one thing you will do but you will not depend on that. Okay, That is first thing to avoid. Now if I am at your position what I will do to remove my fresher tag. So, the objective here is to remove the fresher tag. The first thing I will do is here I have my notes. Okay, The first thing I will do is I will go to my LinkedIn. Okay, In LinkedIn I will have some connections. I may not have more connections also but what I will do is I will search for all the people with the titles founders, co-founders, CEOs. Okay? Now, I am not trying to connect with some big shot people. I am not trying to connect with let us say Apple CEO. I am not trying to connect with Sony CEO. I am trying to connect with some founders and co-founders whom I may know personally or who were either my college seniors or who were with me in some let us say cricket event or some hackathons or any place. If you are able to find somebody who is a founder, co-founder of some startup, if there is a way you can connect with them that is your first bet. Ask them, hey I have learned data science, I know these these things in data science or data analysis, would you give me a chance to work with you. Okay? Remember guys in your first opportunity, first job do not have constraint on money, do not have constraint on location, do not have constraint on lot of constraint on technology. Okay? Be ready to work on anything in data area, be ready to work on any price because what we are trying to do here? We are trying to remove the tag of being a fresher. Okay? Approach number 1, reach out to people, founders, co-founders, CEO, ask them, introduce yourself, show some of your work and tell them, hey this is what I know, would you give me a chance. Once this happens, right? then in your introduction you no need to say that uh, I am a fresher. You can say that I have been working with ABC organization that can be one person company also. Okay? I have been working with ABC organization in their data analysis journey. Okay? There is a difference between these two introductions now, fresher and some experience. That is point number one. Next approach if I am at your position what I will do is, I will go ahead and I will search with the companies that align with first my knowledge and second my interest. Suppose I am a mechanical engineer, suppose. Okay? So, my interest is in let us say automobile industry. What I will do is, I will search for small small players in this sector, not the large players. I will not search Mercedes Benz, I will not search for Toyota, no. I will search for small small players in this sector. How I can get small small players now? So, some of the things that comes to my mind is cars24.com or maybe somebody doing pre-owned cars business, those kind of people, somebody doing you know small kind of business in let us say motor parts, somebody doing logistics business in anything to do with automobile or motor parts, some small players not the big players. Okay? I will reach out to them and tell them, hey I am a data scientist, this is what I have learned, here is some of my work, can I help you. Okay? Remember those three constants that I told you, do not have these three constants again. Try to see if you can get some work. Again, in spite of saying I am a fresher, you can say that I am working with this organization helping them in their data analysis journey. That is your second approach. Next approach is uh, go to Upwork and Fever, some of the portals where you can get some freelance work I mean to say. Okay? And do a bid which nobody can beat. For example, if I am a seasoned data scientist, I will say that I will work on 50 dollars per hour. You go and say that I will, I will work for free or I will work for 5 hours per 5 dollars per hour. So, what may happen is 
there is a less chance that you will get work because you don't have a previous experience but if at all you get work right what will happen then you completely become from a fresher to a freelance data scientist now when you come to me for the interview your introduction will not say i am a fresher your introduction will say i am a freelance data scientist now see the difference guys what you have done you have just gone to upwork fever these kind of platforms you have just done some freelancing work nobody will ask you at what price you have worked what was your rating all these things if it's good always better nobody is going to go into those details this is the third way in which i will try to remove my fresher tag fourth way in which i will try to remove my fresher tag is uh, let's say there there is some channel which i am following for example unfold data science on youtube okay so what i will do is i will go to youtube i will find out the id of unfold data science contact id and again i will pitch them my work what i am going to say i am going to say hey aman uh, i am a data scientist or data analyst okay here is the link for some of my work please go ahead see my work okay and then if you feel i can help you in doing data analysis and giving you some meaningful insights please let me know i am happy to help you now you may be thinking that aman himself is a data science guy why he will give you know his data analysis work to me but that applies to only aman and aman kind of channels now imagine somebody who is making a video from some rural areas somebody who doesn't know a b c of data analysis somebody uh, who is not able to understand youtube analytics or somebody who who is not able to understand what what charts are saying what graphs are saying right you can do lot of meaningful stuff for them some non techy people kind of channels right you can do lot of meaningful things for them that is a fourth way in which i will try to approach people get my first work again with all these three constraints not having these three constraints i mean and i will remove fresher tag from my profile okay and then next thing very very critical thing i want to tell you guys in the interview i have seen that many people will come and say that uh, they will be always looking a chance to say that i have not got a chance to work in data science now think how bad this is guys okay i am hiring you to work in a data science project okay and you are just looking one chance to say that you know what i have never worked in a real time project you know what though i have learned but i don't have a working experience which interviewer will try to hear this or which interviewer will find it good always avoid saying that you know i have not got chance to work on this and always try to say something which shows that at least you have done some attempt at least you are working somewhere so i have given you four five ways in which just remove that you are a fresher and say things like this i am a freelance data scientist working on some freelance platforms here are the huge cases i have worked on apart from these are my projects which i did when i was learning second way i am helping one of the startup uh, for example Un- unfold data science youtube channel i am starting unfold data science is a youtube channel i am starting them in their online growth so what i am i am a data analyst who is a online growth consultant now see how your designation and titles are changing you are not a fresher now who you are you are a online growth consultant data scientist or data analyst second way third way i am an expert in um, automobile sector okay and i am building on one product in this sector one machine learning product with blah 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 organization okay now see how the how the how your introduction is changing it is being more impactful now and what else i can say i can say that uh, i learned data science out of my own interest and now i am helping client 1 here client 2 here client 3 here client 4 here who are these clients they are nothing but some small players in their sector some freelancing work some something to do with you know online analytics something to do with online campaigning something to do with marketing online so all these ways right there is no one blanket statement i can give here that this is what everybody should do try to find out how you can remove that fresher tag one very important thing here for all the people who were working in something else in it and now they are coming to data science remember don't call yourself fresher guys never do that i was sp- speaking to one person uh, this weekend okay that person is a data science uh, i mean some java person or something and he is telling me i am a fresher you are not a fresher buddy 
you are not a fresher you are a java developer with 8 years of experience and one year experience in data science okay all of us should uh, find out all the opportunities to not say we are a fresher whatever you are doing find out opportunities where you say that you are not a fresher okay i tried to give you some pointers now you all are smart find out how you can um, remove the tag of fresher okay this is very very important and critical guys world is full of opportunities don't depend on job portals only try to think little unconventional okay please give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care